All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So a couple days ago, we did a showcase for the brand new Int LR Rosé at 100% in the hidden potential system. And we found out just how much of a monster this guy can be when fully maxed out. But today, we're going to be showcasing him at 55% because I want to see if he is still nearly as impressive without any dupes, how good he is compared to a Rainbow Rosé, and more importantly, I want to give people a realistic representation, a realistic view at what their Rosés are going to be able to do because, let's be honest, most people aren't pulling more than one copy and even if they do, let's say they pull one or two dupes, they're still not rainbowing him anytime soon. So I definitely feel like a 55% showcase just makes the most sense for the average player and that's the plan. Now, if you guys missed the Rainbow Showcase and you still want to check it out, then feel free to pop over to the video through the link above my head. And with all that said, let's jump into it and get this run started. So on this first rotation, we kind of have like a dream rotation going because we got the Rosé with two supports, the Fizz Trunks, as well as the Int Mai. And he's starting off with 73,752 defense, which actually isn't too bad. But keep in mind, we have two supports, so his normal defense is actually going to be around like 50k, 52k, which is kind of bad, okay? But either way, let's not focus on the defense first. Let's start with the offense, and I'm going to let the Trunks super to give us that additional attack boost. Then we get a, I think, full 24? Yes, a full 24k super for the Rosé, and then we'll give my a few orbs as well. So this should be really really good guys all right i'm not sure how much damage but it should be a lot did i see that right did, did my did do i 6.7 million on the first turn yo i said i was expecting something good I was not expecting that though. I was not expecting that. Yo, that. That ain't right. That's not right. Yo, units should not be able to, to get 6.7 million attack on the first turn at 55%. That's not right, man. That should be illegal. I'm just saying, yo, Bandai just gave up on balancing the game. They're like, whatever. We're going to give all these new units super, super busted passives. Doesn't matter. Whatever. You know, next unit's going to hit for 10 million. The one after that, 15 million. It's all good. <laughs> Obviously, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but that that's crazy, man. That That's mad. I, I, okay, so as you can see, 55% Rosé still hits really, really 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 hard obviously not as hard as a rainbow rosé i think a rainbow rosé in that situation probably actually definitely would have had over 8 million but 6.7 is it's still a lot man there's a lot of units out there that even rainbow a lot of lrs actually even rainbowed won't be able to reach that high of an extent of, of an attack stat you know what i mean so um yeah first showing pretty damn solid now i didn't manage to actually get a super off with the Fizz Trunk, so we're most likely not getting that extra boost, which kind of sucks, but we still get this full 24 key with the Rosé, so maybe we can kind of do like a side-by-side -side of uh, the double support turn, and then the turn with one support and no extra from the Trunk Super, and we still get 5.3. Okay, so we're still above 5 million. First turn, 6.7 with double supports. Second turn, 5.3 with one support. Still... I mean, not a lot of units can reach 5 million even, right? Even Rainbowed, there's tons of LRs out there that will never see 5 million for their attacks that... Uh, I'm not saying he's the hardest hitting unit, just to be clear, right? There are units out there that can reach that, that can do the same thing. But they're far and few between. Okay, very few units can do what he just did. And uh, do it so easily too, do it so casually, you know? It's like, he's not even linked up with his best partner on this team right and he's he's doing that if we had big bad bosses active yo i could 
We're getting too excited, man. Big bad bosses with the support and everything. Yeah, um, <laughs> he's, he's very good. <laughs> he's very, very impressive. Now, let, let's move on to the other side of things, which is the defensive side. And this is definitely one criticism I've had about this unit. Uh, I mean, since the last video we did, since the Rainbow Showcase, right? And I think some people took my words a little bit out of context, or not necessarily out of context, but just didn't quite understand what I was trying to say, I guess. And essentially, I was saying that, like, he's not an awful defender, right? I'm not saying he's like a glass cannon. In fact, I didn't call him a glass cannon. I expressly called him a wood cannon. And my reasoning for that was that, you know, glass cannon would... It's used to, to describe a unit or just a character. Yo, 6.4. <laughs> 6 uh, to describe a character that, like, hits really, really hard, right? It's just amazing offensively, but lacks, you know, is really, really lacking, super, super squishy defensively. And that's not Rosé, okay? I'm not saying Rosé can't be a solid defender, because he can be, right? Especially after he supers, he greatly raises defense on his 12 and 18 key supers. So when he does that, he actually has a decent amount of defense. It's just, when it comes to the harder stages in this game, the harder enemies like the STR UI Goku, Int MUI Goku, or for like the new Infinite Dragon Ball History stage, when you're facing like the, the Fizz Broly, or the AGL Blue Gogeta at the end, um, he's still gonna get hit really, really hard. So while by no means an awful defender, he just doesn't really hold up when it comes to like the harder enemies. So that's what I was trying to say, right? That's why I didn't call him a glass cannon. I said wood cannon because I was like, you know, he's not quite glass, right? He does hit harder than what a glass cannon or, or tank better than what a glass cannon would do. But at the same time, he's not a great defender, right? Like in the later stages, he's not an amazing defender. So I was like, what's harder than glass? but not as hard as like metal or or stone. And I was like, wood seems like the good middle ground. So that's why I said wood cannon. And I don't really know if that's a term that people use because I don't really think I've heard other people use it. But to me, that is an apt description of him. You know, that like makes the most sense. So that's why I went with that. Okay, so hopefully we're on the same page now. Hopefully people aren't mad anymore because I did see a few people that were like a little bit upset about what I said. And all I wanted to say was, I, I didn't mean to trash him too hard as a defender. I'm just saying, like, he's not amazing, right? Okay, here we go. We got the active skill going, and we're going to go into his rage mode. So basically, for one turn, we're immortal. We can't take damage, and we also get new super attacks, and essentially his new passive also gives him an additional key plus one with each key sphere obtained, and then also attacks effective against all types. So in this mode, while his actual attack stat is not going to be nearly as high as uh you know his non-rage mode or non-transform state he's actually still going to be doing good damage because of that effective against all so we got an 18 key here as you can see 2.3 is still really good and it's going to be super effective of course and then um we're not taking damage too which is nice so this can be really clutch in situations where you really need it like harder enemies that would kill you with a super um you basically get a free turn where you're still also having the chance to just kill the enemy, which I think is actually gonna happen here. I think Super Saiyan 3 Goku's dead. There you go. Okay, and then we got that nice KO screen as well. <laughs> I love it, I love it. No, I really like this unit, okay? Don't take my criticisms as me saying he's a bad unit, or I don't like him, or anything like that, because I think he is an absolutely amazing unit. I just feel like um, you know, there's some things, like he's not perfect, right? So if there's a, some kind of flaw with a unit, I'm going to talk about it in a video, right? That's the whole point of the showcases. Okay, so here we have a bit of a tricky situation because I'm kind of scared to put the Fizz Goku Black here because I feel like he might get destroyed. So I think I'm going to put Rosé there instead. Uh, is that a 24? To be close, right? Oh, 23. That sucks. Okay, we'll give a few orbs here to the Goku Black too to ensure that he is quite tanky. And then I'll give I'll give these ones to to Mai. So we should be we should be able to survive this turn. Now we get to super first, you know, 6.1 there. So basically every single turn has been 
5 million plus, a lot of turns, 6 million plus. Um, yeah, taking a super here, but we did get to super with the Rosé, greatly raised defense. But as you can see, yeah, we didn't take that much damage. A 5% chance to dodge in his uh, hidden potential system also went off, so that's a nice bonus right there. And yeah, we're safe this turn for sure. We're safe this turn for sure. I mean, if we died, it would have been fine, because at this point, you guys have seen plenty. Uh, what I want to do, actually, though, before we go, is definitely... Yeah, definitely, I want to get to, like, the Super Saiyan Blue Goku stage, just to, you know, give you guys an idea of what I'm talking about as far as the defense goes, right? Because I think at this point, like, right now, we haven't faced a lot of hard enemies, and in the last stage, we had type advantage, so you guys don't really get to see what I'm talking about as far as, like, you can struggle a little bit defensively, right? So once we get to Super Saiyan Blue Goku, and, uh, you know, we actually get someone that, like, can hit really hard, that's when his defensive problems will become kind of apparent yo unless we die here i don't know <laughs> we cannot we might not make it to super, to super saiyan blue goku at this point no we should we should we definitely should um actually not certain anymore not 100 percent sure that's gonna happen Ooh. okay we barely survived we barely survived we're good though <laughs> we made it um, yeah, I'ma give, let's see, okay, these ones, the Rosé, that's gonna be the first, uh, actual 12k super, because for the last couple turns, we've just been doing ultra supers, right? And, should I heal up? I feel like I should probably, I should probably use an item here. Okay, so that uh, goes, actually, we're gonna use the Senzu Bean here. And we're gonna heal right up, okay? So ensure we at least, at least make it to the Super Saiyan Blue. And yeah, taking 16.9k. 16.9k, yeah. So even with the type of advantage, still taking quite a bit of damage. But that's of course before we got to Super Attack. If we had Supered first, that would have been still double digits. All right, so now things get interesting. This is where things get scary on this event. And I'm, I'm, I'm sure these guys can hold their own, so I'm not going to be too concerned here. But yeah, what I'm more interested in, of course, is the uh, the, the damage that the intro A takes. Just to show everybody I'm not crazy. You know, just to show everybody I know what I'm talking about. And that my criticisms are valid. Okay, so up oh, the super on the trunks. Shouldn't be a bad. Shouldn't be that bad. Yeah, 17k. I mean, it's Trunks they're talking about. This is Trunks they're talking about. Okay. Oh, by the way, shout out to... Oh, who? Man, I was going to shout out one of my friends that bought me this mug, but I forgot who it was, actually. <laughs> so maybe no shout out. <laughs> maybe no shout out. It was supposed to be a nice moment. It was supposed to be like a shout out to, you know, one of my friends from high school, but I actually don't remember who exactly got this. So never mind. Okay. I'm gonna take back that shout out. No shout out. Okay. Anyways, last attack here of the showcase. I'm gonna give the full 24k super once again to the Rose. And uh, he's actually getting a token attack. So that's gonna be an awesome way to end uh, in this video. So, okay. Normal attack here 67k. Yeah. Yeah. You see, you see, you see what I'm saying? This man took 67,000 damage. <laughs> from a normal attack <laughs> with the support on rotation but you know what it's fine okay it's not a big deal because as much damage as he takes he gives back many times over with his own super attacks so um yeah i'm not saying by any means he's bad i love this unit i'm so glad i got him and uh if you guys got him too then enjoy because you have a monster on your hands like i said even with no dupes you can definitely definitely hold his own okay so uh that's the video guys that is the 55 percent showcase of the int lr rose hope you guys enjoyed it hope you guys had fun watching this video or at least as much fun as i had making it for you and as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video you know what while we're doing this let me just get one more rotation out of the way it bothers me when it's just like you know, units floating there, waiting for commands. So let's do that. 
Okay, and uh, yeah, like the damn video. If it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.